Hello my beautiful Aries, welcome to your reading for the month of September. If you're new to my channel, then welcome guys. I'm Miss Didi with Miss Didi's Tarot, and if you're returning, then welcome back my darling Aries. It is always a pleasure to spend this time together, and I'm excited that you're here with me. We could be anywhere in the world, but we're spending this time here with one another, so I appreciate you, and I appreciate the opportunity to read for you. And don't forget guys, we just entered Virgo season, and if you don't know, I'm a Virgo, so make sure you wish all your Virgos a happy birthday and again I love all your comments the oh my gosh all the feedback that you give me on how these relate to your situations just give me so much insight in terms of what it is that I'm picking up and how we're connecting I love hearing about it so don't forget to like comment and share and more importantly if you want to join the community and be a part of like daily motivation and awesome posts then make sure you hit the notification bell to get those too we're gonna get started with the gilded tarot royale see what your readings are for the month of September what is coming through for my darling Aries a lot of passionate energy with this oh my gosh as I'm saying passionate energy the two of cups the two of cups <laughs> I'm talking about passionate energy Aries do we have love or is this a two card read this week or we this month I guess this is your month is starting off really good could be very passionate strong emotional connection to someone here too Aries this is you standing sitting firmly on your throne or gentlemen, <laughs> ladies, the, the masculine energy could be quite firm during this steamy connection. I feel like for some of you, we're starting off quite naughty. Here we go. Let's, let's get a little bit more centered. Oh my God. Air. We've got you at the bottom looking, looking amazing. Here's that daddy energy. I feel like for some of you, it is going to be a very fun month. A lot of activity, a lot of connection could be some options too. weighing some things. Let me get a couple more cards here and then we'll get into it. But King of Wands, like I mentioned, we're in Virgo season. So that means you could be like really taking off in your business, really focusing on your, you know, entrepreneur uh, adventures or work wise to working really hard, always passionately, very driven, very energetic and enthusiastic in that way, using your charismatic and magnetic personality to draw in whoever and whatever that might come in your area here. I feel like also really having that sexual vibe is really, really feeding off of you you're giving that of course yes because Mars is still in Aries so you guys are fully activated can be a big month of a lot of action and by the looks of it some satisfaction too <laughs> I love it you guys definitely have your eyes on someone or someone has their eyes on you I feel like they are definitely watching you I feel like someone's got this cup of love for you growing this stronger emotion you could be dealing with another fire energy as well so it could be dealing with the Leo Sagittarius or another Aries however these apply to your situations I'm just gonna get two rows here for us today so I feel like some of you could be worried about what is this person's intention Ooh, we're good we got all the cards we need. Let's, I saw the moon peeking out there. So I feel like you could also have a secret admirer. It's kind of been the theme even with Pisces too. So I feel like someone is trying to figure out what to offer you, okay? We did have that Cancer Scorpio and uh, Pisces energy, as I mentioned. So you could be having a lot of people trying to figure out how to balance this. It could be uh, you also wanting to have this connection with someone, offering them kind of coming out of a stormy connection maybe, or things were kind of a little bit of a rough patch, expressing this love, trying to figure out how to bring in this abundance and have this new beginning in this connection of course you could just be very passionately pursuing things that are really bringing you a lot of happiness a lot of joy you could also be duplicating your finances and growing your business immensely which is just a beautiful energy since we have the seven of cups or seven of cups why am I seeing cards that aren't here? Seven of Pentacles. So you guys can be definitely, like I said, multiplying, planting more seeds, growing your business, putting in that work. This can also talk about our personal development as well, kind of giving that cup of love to yourself, you know, watering yourself, however this is, so that you're growing as a person. Really also getting that beautiful energy coming through here that your business is growing very well, very rapidly. I feel like for some of you, you've been needing to nurture it and water it and give it that love and, you know, really have been really putting in that hard work and I feel like with the rainbow here over the pentacle it's blessed like if things were a little bit cloudy and it seemed like oh my god this fruit is never gonna break the soil but then it did and then the plants are growing and like what is the fruit that's coming I feel like it's definitely growing into this beautiful opportunity whether or not some of you are single right now or you've been really focusing on getting yourself established in your confidence your security financially that stable really good energy here I feel like someone 
We could be definitely dealing with an earth energy because we have Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus coming through hard. Like a lot of hard. Guys, I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'm channeling into, but you guys are having a really fun month. That is for sure. So I feel like you definitely see someone who's single, looking good, looking sexy over here too. Or of course, getting very established. It doesn't necessarily mean you're a single person. It just means that you're very secure. This could be the person as well. Totally fine on their own. You know, just missing that one pinnacle, but being able to provide everything for yourself. Being self-sufficient, self-sustained, and being able to grow your own crop kind of thing you know like really being being able to do that so this person might be seeing that or this can be you towards them and trying to figure out like okay what can I offer them like they can do everything without me they don't even need me what can I give my Aries or what can I give this other person if you're the one offering this that would complete them what would be the best option to give them because we have you know this opportunity to complete that nine to the ten however this is also the young empress energy so for some of you, again, if someone like really has their eye on you or you have your eye on someone and they stand out from the crowd, I feel like you guys just know that this is your person and then that love is starting to grow or has been growing over the series with the moons here too. Can also talk about like this period of like just cycles, you know, like as this time has been passing, we've been growing this connection, growing this, uh, this emotion, right? But then we have also this is also kind of like needing to free yourself from this. Some of you could be a bit too, um, too business minded, too focused on fo like, you know, getting all those fires and desires really, you know, passionately to pursuing people as well, vice versa. This could be people with you and you're kind of a little bit confused maybe with this person's intention. Is it strictly lustful or do they just want to come in and out, you know, the lover of the night kind of energy? Because we want something stable. We want something secure. Some of you can be choosing your single life wanting to be single and not feeling trapped or confined in anything and really being free like freeing yourself of this mental anguish or of course worrying what your person's up to too depending on your connection for others of you too it's just that someone doesn't really understand the dynamic right you know they don't know where you are and you're just busy working away so this can be that air energy but this is our thoughts this is the things that keep us kind of stuck so there could be an element of stagnation something that isn't really having um um, you know, this is you with you, basically. Like, I feel like for some of you, some of the th th things that you're thinking are keeping you stuck from going to possibly even a next level or to possibly even do all those things that you want to do and like really needing to juggle things, right? Okay, so that could be part of it too, or you're waiting to hear from this person because then we have the page of wands here, but this could be a air energy, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius here. Someone could be just stuck on you, you know, like just really drawn to you, so attracted to you and not sure how to come out of this, you know, lack of communication too could be possible. Possible. Um, but this element of like needing to have, you know, taking off that blindfold, seeing the things that are actually in front of you and just realizing that you just gotta like step up and walk over. Like I feel like whatever it is could be of course to approach this person. Maybe you just gotta get up and make the move or vice versa. This is the person making the move towards you. But fire energy could be a message expressing their emotions. However, this applies. Someone could be of course confessing their love too. Like I said, a lot of power a lot of desires there could be some like you know sexting going on some very um flirtatious energy action energy trying to express this love here too uh again you know they really like how they feel when they're around you right we got this big wand over here too from the page not just the king you could have several people you could have more um, less serious people looking for a connection and I feel like those are the ones that you're kind of maybe getting confused with or they're feeling confused by you so it's always good to express our intentions and just clarify that so that people are not stuck and you know feeling this energy so I feel like with this communication someone is trying to clarify that and you could be feeling kind of trapped and not not aware of where things are going and there's gonna be that expression now this can cause a delay or because of this we were in a delay and this situation really made us see things from needing to see things from a different perspective okay 
And I feel like part of that is too, is that someone could be juggling a lot of things, especially in work. Just be careful, you're not juggling too many things and then you drop everything because it's sprinkling out of his pocket here. So also telling me to be careful with your money, guys. If you're thinking about a few different things, just make sure that you're not being overspending. It's just that energy too right now. We get the Virgo vibe too is coming in this month. So that's gonna be really pushing everyone to be focusing and disciplining themselves a bit more. So however that applies to you, uh, of course, just might be even decluttering too, clearing the space, needing to kind of free up some room around you, Pisces energy though. So also kind of like if you're feeling like for many of you, it's also like it's going to be a blessing no matter what you choose. If it's, you know, a certain person, if your choices are between people or choosing between two jobs, even you could be getting a new job opportunity that's going to be making you really happy. And I feel like you've been planting those seeds, right? Like we mentioned, um, can also be someone keeping an eye on your social media, seeing how you're kind of handling situations, seeing what you're going through and how things are kind of doing. Uh, also with this seven of pentacles and the ace, or sorry, this isn't ace. This is the page of swords. So someone could be stalking and just seeing your growth, you know, seeing how you're progressing, right? Cause this always talks about progress, but the weight. So part of the weight is that there's no communication, but some people, when there's no communication, kind of get stuck in their head and like overthink, right? That's that overthinking air energy too, analytical mind here as well. We have a lot of earth, a lot of fire, almost everybody's on the table here. So I feel like this person can also be doing research on how to move things along faster. This could be in your business too. So you could be studying, you could be getting some kind of information that you need to know here, really checking things out. Uh, someone could be checking up on you too, and you might not even know, but this is again, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius energy. Younger, could be possibly younger or just a little bit immature. You know, that's that kind of like, I'm not really expressing how I truly feel. So I feel like that's part of the delay because we have two pages, page of wands, page of swords. So you can have different people here not really communicating on a mature level, having that like boss conversations, of course, too, even at work, just be careful because there could be some people that are not necessarily in the positive intention towards you, especially if they see you doing really well, because you know, you see all this abundance and green and then this person's kind of standing in an empty thing. So just being careful, someone could have lost something here or they could be um, wanting to move towards you too for the wrong reasons, okay? So just heads up. Also, seeing you, looking sexy, looking great, looking stable, looking secure. This can be, of course, your person. They got their eye on you. You see how the king is just waiting for this young lady here. Could be however that energy applies, but I do feel that is a very strong connection, wanting to offer that wand here, wanting to, a lot of wands can be offered. So someone could be, of course, single, and someone does not want to see you single anymore because they want to spend this time with you. Some of you could be, of course, enjoying your singleness and mingling, really building a solid foundation though if you're starting with someone new wanting to express things now going from the page of wands to the king of wands is also establishing a very strong passion a connection a growing of intimacy as well could be oh i just noticed that very interesting i don't know it could be a twin flame guys as i see like the chair has four pillars right the four legs then we have the four wands here on this card and then we have her with the four of like you know the four pillars here too so you guys could be either dealing with a twin flame or you could be seeing a lot of 11 11 everywhere but i feel like this person you're kind of feeling like really pulled towards them really connected to them like kind of like a higher reason why they're coming through feeling very bound to them right we have the devil energy too so i feel like with this these thoughts guys this is like some 50 shades nights and i like that for you i hope you enjoy that because <laughs> you're gonna be getting it um however that applies and i feel like for some of you it's just it's so amazing especially if you have been intimate with this person or they are like just constantly thinking of being intimate with you however this applies wanting to bring this in have this union have this beautiful love i feel like also with this ace of cup here it's like a beautiful opportunity for a new love expression of course can be but also to build this solid connection right because we're building a solid foundation so it's also ending these toxic cycles removing anything that was a burden anything that doesn't belong can also be where this energy came from too about like cutting out all this stuff 
stuff. I feel like for some of you, part of the toxicity is the thinking. Maybe someone's a little bit stalking too. Uh, it could be an ex, could be someone else just keeping tabs on you because they still can't let you go. They're still obsessed with you. Why not? You bring that beautiful energy and they just can't resist you. So someone could be still keeping their tabs on you, wondering what you're up to, but this could be a toxic person from your past. And this can also be on your mind or you're on their mind. However it applies, I feel like this is a lingering like left out kind of energy, which is also sort of when they come back, right? When you're doing really well and they feel your energy pulling away, that's usually when those people are starting to go. Because if you think of magnets, right? You move, they move, they move. It's like the runner chaser energy. So I feel like for some of you too, some of you are just chasing your dreams right now. So you're really enjoying this and building that solid foundation, possibly foundation and business, especially there's a lot of pentacles here. So it's a really good time for you to get doing those things. Utilize this Virgo season to get organized, get established, get stable and starting that solid foundation now is setting you up for massive and great success later so just beware of temptation could be you know all sorts of things again can also talk about a lot of a lot of um sex and experiences you know really bringing in a very strong vibe here with this devil but i feel like there could be some, a little bit too much maybe for some people it's overindulging in whatever right because this can also talk about uh substances or whatnot so just kind of like don't get too off track either because i feel like there could be this clearing of whatever that difficulty was or whatever those dark clouds or lack of communication or movement, really starting to see things from that new perspective is gonna give you a positive outcome. And I feel like that's where you're gonna be able to build this solid foundation because those things are gonna be moving towards you or you towards this person. I love it, could again be dealing with the Capricorn too? Could that be the only significance of the devil here? So as always, let me know how they're relating to your situations and I'd love to hear of course in the comments too don't forget to hit the notification so you know when you're getting the newest and up-to-date messages and again posts daily in the community section join our community you're more than welcome for some positivity in your life if you need it we got it so we'll see you guys really soon check out the other videos focus on the titles don't focus on the dates see which ones resonate maybe they can offer a bit more clarity than this did today and as always guys love and light God bless you all. Enter in the free draws below and help me provide meals for children who need it right now. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.